So today I am in Mid Valley and I'm actually on the way to go ship the sock giveaway. So I didn't announce it in my last vlog, but congratulations to Ella and David. I've already DM'd you guys and I'm sorry for just shipping it now. I've been so busy all week, but your socks are in here. So I'm gonna go find this place called Mailbox where they ship your stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get that sorted and then I'm gonna hit up a few stores today. I know that there's Crossover, Soul Watt, and also another Atwood store. Another t-shirt from Admas because I told you guys that I really wanted that brown round two t-shirt so I had a really similar print to the one I bought the other day but this one's in the darker brown and I love it so much and I also picked up a small little candle I wasn't supposed to film in the store so what you guys saw before was just a little bit it's a much smaller store compared to the one in KLCC but right now I'm gonna head up crossover I just keep going upstairs I don't really know where it is but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere upstairs so Hopefully, I'll get to show you guys what the store is like if they allow me to film. I wasn't able to film in crossover, but the store was actually really nice. The interior was like a lot of dark wood and they had a good range of like Kaha, Kara and a few other brands and they even have their own like crossover brand. The Kaha store slash cafe that I went to the other day is actually opened by the same guys that own crossover. So yeah, it had a really similar vibe. I wish I could film it to show you guys, but yeah, most retail stores don't allow it to film in there which is fair enough um, right now I think I'm gonna hit up Soul Watt in the gardens which is the mall next to Mid Valley so let's head there now I thought that Soul Watt was in the gardens but it turns out there's a Soul Watt here so are they the same store they probably are but it's just over here I'll show you guys while I can what am I doing oh, wait it's the <laughs> um, but I'll show you guys while out here because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to film in there but let's go in and have a look. So this is the other Soul Watt in the gardens and it looks a little bigger than the one I went to before. So uh, let's check it out, I guess. I just left the Soul Watt store and I did a vlog in there again. I was like a little bit too shy to ask. But I'm pretty sure that I wasn't allowed to vlog in the store and it was okay. They had your like typical brands, so like Nike, Puma, Vans and stuff and there were also some local brands which looked really cool but I didn't end up buying anything. I'm pretty happy with my like one Atmos t-shirt purchase and that little candle. So now I think we're just gonna walk around. There's no other stores that I really want to hit up while I'm here. Um, so I might just go and grab some lunch and then go to the supermarket and buy some snacks and that's pretty much it. And you know what I bought today guys? I bought so many antigen kits because it's so hard to buy them in Australia. Like it's always sold out. So I'm gonna buy some back just so that I have them in hand when I need them when I'm back there. And uh, well yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I have nothing all that exciting to show you. My haul, I guess I can show you the little candle that I bought when I get home. But yeah, I don't even know where I'm walking, okay. <laughs> Let's go back this way. So I'm in the supermarket right now and there's so many nice local fruits. I was after some unripe green mangoes but I don't think this is the one. They have a little cut up one there but it's actually orange on the inside. So that's not it for sure. And look at all the different kinds of mangoes that they have. They also have some durian over here. I've only had durian once since I've gotten back and I actually really like it. It does have a really, really pungent smell and it's definitely an acquired taste. But because I grew up in Malaysia, I'm sort of used to that smell. So when I smell it, I don't think of it as like a horrible smell. It just smells like the fruit to me. But I know people describe it like rotting onions and like so many other things but to me like it just smells like durian I'm going to buy some guava I really like it and I don't really get to eat this in Melbourne and then they also have some passion fruit this over here I've had it once and it's called salad I can't remember what it tastes like but look at it isn't the texture so crazy looking I don't think I've ever tried this either I think I've had a dried version of that but I have no idea what it tastes like when it's fresh I'm looking for the cereal aisle because I really like cereal is it just me? I've never seen banana cornflakes. Is that a thing? And they also have like a strawberry one. I really shouldn't be like touching all the cereal boxes, but this is so exciting to me. <laughs> Look at this. Unicorn Fruit Loops. 
I must be the only person that is this excited about looking at cereal. Um, they also have these Cocoa Crunch that I really like, but I think they've since started selling this in Australia as well. I used to always buy this when I'm back in Malaysia for holiday, but I think they've just changed the packaging. They come in a few different flavors as well. I also used to really like Honey Stars. I've also tried this Coconut Kaya Granola. It is so yummy. And well, that's the cereal owl. And then next to it, are uh, all the chips so there are like so many different types of Pringles I want to see if there's any flavors that sound particularly exciting to me usually I'll go for anything that says hot and spicy that is my default flavor this is probably the most unflattering angle but you guys are just sitting in the trolley right now so that I can show you stuff um, I'm still in the little chip aisle but I haven't seen anything that I want yet. These lollies are super nostalgic to me as well. When I was younger, I always used to have like the little burgers and there's also a pizza version, but this one here is like a lunch one. So there's like a little fry set. I think that's like a hot dog thing. I'm gonna buy this for Beatrice. I'm in the noodle aisle right now and I'm looking for this super spicy noodles i remember people doing like a little challenge before i think it might be this i remember that the packaging looked something like that what does it say spicy chicken black noodles there's also this one over here that says cheese but i think this might be the one that everyone was eating why is there only one left maybe it's popular i don't know i'll go home and try it look at the oreo guys i wonder if the print actually looks like that on the inside it's a little different from your regular oreos because i think it's like a chinese new year release i wonder if they have any seasonal flavors for oreos over here i know you guys get a ton in the states and it's always really exciting to me it's nothing too exciting it's just double stuff just the original there's chocolate we have the thins as well i'm gonna get the red velvet one because it looks a little different and hopefully it's good do you guys remember the one time did i ever tell you that i bought these supreme oreos and i ended up buying fake ones like i had the original ones and then i bought like a second batch from someone and they were fake and i think I checked them out. Yeah, I don't have them to show you anymore, but I'm gonna buy these Oreos. We're at this place called Banana Row, and you pretty much eat off a piece of banana leaf, and they put the rice on there, and all the curries, and all the sauces. Everything looks so good, and it smells so yummy, so I'm so excited to try it. I also got this their Tharit drink, which is like a milk tea, and it's really foamy on top. I haven't had banana leaf rice in like ages. It's usually another place in Bangsa that I've been to. It's pretty far from where I live and I remember it being really good but I feel like this is sort of a modern version of that kind of sauce and I'm pretty sure the rice is refillable right yeah so you can eat lots when you're here this thing over here hopefully it's focusing it's like a snake board I don't really know what that is I'll insert a photo because I myself don't even know what that looks like but I tasted some of it because it's deep fried it's just really nice and crispy and I think they may have used the same spices that they've used on the chicken and it's not spicy at all even though it looks super red but so far everything is so so yum you guys might find this a little bit weird but do you remember this from the Babe Cafe the other day? So I actually asked for an extra placemat. Well, Nelson asked for an extra placemat and he suggested that I go laminate it and then I can use it as my own placemat. But high key, I'm really just doing it just so like I have a memory of visiting the Babe Cafe in 20, what year are we in? 2022. And I thought it would be a nice thing. So I'm here, oh my God, I'm here at a stationery store and I'm gonna go laminate this little piece of paper just flapping all over the place. Maybe I should write a date on this, guys. Yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm in this cute little stationery store to get my bait placement laminated, and I'm just waiting for them to get it done. And I'm walking around to see if there's any stationery that I need, but I really don't. I used to love buying stationery when I was younger, like when I was in school. I don't know what it was, but I just loved buying pens and erasers and all that. Is that what people do now? I don't think so. But back in the day, I was collecting stationery and stickers. The lamination was very successful. Look at how good this looks. Um, but anyway guys, we're just gonna head home now. This is the candle that I picked up today and it's from a local brand called Kaori. And at the back here, you can see I got the misty green scent 
and it's refreshing floral green tea. But I do wish there's a little bit more branding on the actual candle itself because there's literally nothing. It is a very small candle. The burn time is 15 hours and I can't wait to burn it. It does smell really nice, not overpowering at all. So I'm going to take this back with me. And also, can we please appreciate this laminated placemat <laughs> that I got done. I know this is so silly and I also wrote a tiny little date here. I don't know if you guys can see. It says 15 Feb because that was the day that I went to the Babe Cafe and then I also want to show you guys the round two t-shirt that I got. Look at them. They look so happy and you guys know that round two is Sean Weatherspoon's brand. At the back here, that is also the Atmos branding. So I'm excited to wear this when I get back to Melbourne. So I'm going back to Melbourne today, guys. And I feel like my trip to Malaysia was super short, even though I was here for a little bit over a month. And I had such a good time. It was such a relaxing holiday. The next vlog will all be in Melbourne. And I have so many things to unbox, which I'm so excited about because I've been buying quite a few things. There will be a huge unboxing video when I get back but for now I'm just gonna well I'm on the plane right now and my flight is at 9 50. Today is the 22nd of February and the new Yay album is dropping today which is really exciting but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon bye